The United States' decision to impose sanctions on China's semiconductor industry wasn't just a tactical move. It was a bold statement of technological dominance, deeply rooted in national security concerns. The goal? To restrict China's access to cutting-edge chip technology, driven by fears that these advanced semiconductors could significantly enhance China's military power and cyber capabilities. U.S. leaders, including Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, made it clear, controlling China's technology supply chain is crucial to protecting America's national interests. After all, semiconductors are the backbone of modern technology, powering everything from smartphones to artificial intelligence systems. By limiting China's chip imports, the U.S. aimed to slow Beijing's tech ambition. But here's the twist. Instead of crippling China, these sanctions ignited a fierce global tech rivalry, one that's reshaping geopolitics and rattling supply chains worldwide. Back in 2021, China relied heavily on foreign semiconductors, importing a staggering $432 billion, zero cents worth. Fast forward to the end of 2023, and that number had dropped to about $230 billion, zero cents, a sharp decline signaling more than just shrinking trade. It's a sign of China's strategic pivot towards self-reliance. Massive government programs like Made in China 2025 poured billions into building a homegrown semiconductor industry. Companies like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, ramped up production aggressively, cutting dependence on Western tech. Recent reports, including from the Financial Times, highlight a surge in China's chip self-sufficiency, underscoring a deliberate and rapid shift to domestic manufacturing. This transformation raises big questions. Will China's ambitions reshape the global tech landscape or push it toward isolation? Huawei's story is a striking example. Once hammered by U.S. sanctions, Huawei stunned the world in 2023 by launching its Mate 60 Pro smartphone powered by a domestically produced 7 nanometer Kirin chip. This breakthrough shattered doubts about China's ability to innovate under pressure. Huawei's 5G infrastructure, built entirely with Chinese-made components, further shows the resilience of China's tech sector. What was once an obstacle has become a powerful driver of innovation. Industry experts like Dan Hutcherson of Tech Insights see these milestones as clear signs of China's growing strength and independence. These aren't just technical wins, they're a declaration of autonomy. Chinese consumers now enjoy more affordable 5G devices and greater access to advanced tech. Globally, markets are feeling the impact as lower-cost Chinese processors like the Langan series disrupt industries ranging from AI to aerospace. These chips now power supercomputers and defense systems, challenging the long-held Western dollar. According to a Reuters report from October 2023, Chinese firms are innovating in fields like industrial robotics and autonomous vehicles, sectors once ruled by U.S. companies. SMIC's production of 5 nanometer semiconductors is shaking up global markets, enabling China to bypass export controls and make strides in quantum computing. But this rapid growth raises a crucial question. Will China's tech advances broaden global innovation or deepen divisions between rival powers? Meanwhile, U.S. semiconductor companies are feeling the pinch. Intel's Q3 2023 sales to China dropped 27% year-over-year. Texas Instruments reported a $2 billion, $300 million, zero cents revenue shortfall, largely due to falling Chinese demand. This isn't just a blip, it's a signal of wider challenges. As China boosts its domestic chip production, American firms lose a vital revenue stream that once made up nearly 30% of their sales. Are U.S. sanctions inadvertently hurting their own tech giants? Chinese share of global semiconductor manufacturing has nearly doubled in just three years, from 15% in 2020 to 30% in 2023. Fueled by government subsidies and strategic partnerships, Chinese chipmakers have opened over 50 new fabrication plants in two years alone. This expansion intensifies competition with giants like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. The ripple effects don't stop there. South Korea's semiconductor industry is also under pressure. Samsung and SK Hynix, heavily reliant on exports to China, now face shrinking market access thanks to U.S. sanctions. 
This interconnected web of competition, innovation, and economic tension is reshaping the global semiconductor landscape, setting the stage for a prolonged, complex struggle over technological leadership and economic power. China's advances in DRAM and nanotechnology are closing the gap with industry leaders. Samsung Semiconductor revenue dropped 12% in Q3 2023, while SK Hynix recorded its largest profit loss since 2017. But China's chip technology now goes beyond manufacturing hardware. Domestically designed processors power critical infrastructure, data centers, telecom networks, AI systems. Major firms like Alibaba and Tencent are rapidly replacing imported chips with local alternatives. By 2023, over 60% of China's cloud computing platforms ran on homegrown chips. This shift boosts China's independence, stabilizes essential systems, and makes advanced electronics more affordable and accessible at home. Global markets are already feeling the impact. Some regions face shortages or price hikes due to reliance on Chinese imports. But the key question remains, can China sustain this breakneck growth while maintaining world-class quality? Companies like SMIC and YMTC have become pivotal players. SMIC's 7 nanometer chip production directly challenges U.S. export controls, while YMTC's cutting-edge 232-layer NAND flash memory is pushing consumer electronics to new heights. These firms aren't just catching up, they're rewriting the rules on speed, efficiency, and innovation, putting intense pressure on industry stalwarts like Intel and TSMC. Ironically, U.S. sanctions meant to curb China's tech rise have accelerated its domestic growth. The U.S. has responded by boosting its own semiconductor initiatives, offering subsidies, forming stronger alliances with countries like South Korea, and promoting private R&D investment. But the race is far from decided. China's massive investment in semiconductor R&D topped $20 billion, cents, in 2023 alone. Sanctions created a survival mentality among Chinese tech firms, driving innovation faster than many experts expected. This resilience sparks a tough question. Have U.S. policies unintentionally empowered China to surpass its rival? China is now the world's largest chip consumer, wielding extraordinary influence over supply chains. In 2023, Chinese companies accounted for 38% of global chip demand, forcing suppliers to adapt or risk steep losses. Even with U.S. export bans, key suppliers like ASML and Applied Materials struggle to balance compliance with economic interests. YMTC's mass production of 232-layer NAND flash memory marks a landmark breakthrough, positioning China as a front-runner in high-capacity storage, vital for data-driven industries. Meanwhile, traditional memory giants like Micron and Western Digital trail behind. Could the epicenter of memory innovation shift from Silicon Valley to Shenzhen? China's growing semiconductor independence is rewriting global power dynamics, shielding it from sanctions and boosting its diplomatic leverage. Experts like Chris Miller, author of Chip War, see China's rise as a major geopolitical shift, potentially signaling a new era where technology reshapes alliances and economic strategies worldwide. So what hurdles lie ahead for both China and the U.S. as this high-stakes competition intensifies? How sustainable is China's newfound autonomy, and what risks threaten to undermine it? The ongoing U.S.-China chip conflict is a stark lesson in the unintended fallout of weaponizing technology. Sanctions aimed to slow China's tech sector, but instead sparked unprecedented innovation, accelerating growth and deepening global divisions. As the world grows more polarized, the dangers of overdependence on technological supremacy become clearer than ever. What does this mean for future geopolitical conflicts? Can global powers find a balance between fierce competition and necessary cooperation in today's digital age? This chip war isn't just a business rivalry, it's a vivid example of how geopolitical maneuvering can have unpredictable consequences. To avoid further fragmentation, international collaboration on innovation and trade might be essential. Alliances focused on shared technology development could stabilize markets and drive collective progress. But will cooperation prevail, or will competition spiral further out of control as China emerges stronger, 
asserting itself as a global tech powerhouse. One thing is certain, the semiconductor world has been forever changed. Stay tuned for more insights, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with this evolving story. Up next, dive into the latest breakthroughs, reshaping the future